Kickeye in this security tutorial we will learn that how we can create a multiple recurrency generator with the help of trimble part timer in the process so for it I would like to tell that you must know about triple five timer triple five timer is an IC that is basically used for to build the timers as well as LED blinkers or flashers and in some cases it is used for time delay circuits within the washing machines and in some other electronic appliances so here we are using it as a a stable multi vibrator in which it outputs 0 and 1 or it will give us a square wave so let's start it first of all we will go to the part list and we will write triple five timer and we will get our analog timer oscillator a vibrator and oscillator are the same terms means that anything that can produce oscillations or vibrations is called as the oscillator or vibrator so here as you can see that there are eight pins and triple five timer is actually in dip package that is dual inline package that is its, it's pins are on both sides of the body four on one side and four on the other and all are hole mounted that is all the pins are hole mounted and not the surface mounted so now we will start making our circuit first of all you need to connect pin 8 and pin 4 then pin 2 and pin 6 pin 6 then take ground and attach the pin number 1 with that of the ground go to the part list and take here pot active pot active means an active potentiometer press ok and press ok and as you can see that we have a potentiometer now connect its one end with the pin number 8 and the other with the pin number 7 okay also right click on it go to edit properties also change it to like uh, 300k press enter okay now go and take one 190k Point six watt resistor and then right click on it rotate clockwise like this and like this now one component is left that is the capacitor and we will write as one microfarad and we can see a lot of capacitors or we can also write is electro lytic okay aluminium and take any one of them they are the polar capacitors connect one end with the ground and the other end with the pin number two double click on it and right here is one microfarad Press OK. Okay, now give power to the VCC. Also take oscilloscope for to observe the output. Output is on pin number three. Okay, here and here also uh, you need to change it to 90k, not 390k. So run it. Now you can see that there is a square wave. Adjusters 
magnitude and also the frequency now you can see that we have some frequency here okay now we will reduce the resistance now you can see that frequency increases so the frequency decreases because you can see that number of cycles are less now when we will decrease the resistance now you can see that number of cycles are increased means that in the same length number if the number of cycle increases it means that frequency is increases so then you again can decrease the frequency so this is a very simple and basic frequency generator that is this pair wave frequency generator and you can use it for to drive your sum of the circuits or some of the simulation so hopefully you got the concept the downloading link for this file is given in the description thanks for watching this video tutorial